First step, run these commands in the command prompt. These commands resets every sockets and settings of your internet, releases your IPv4, renews it, flushes your renewed DNS, makes your connection stable, scans for faulty things in your system, and tries to fix them. Second step, download DNS bench from the description and get the fastest DNS for you. Go to command prompt and type ping your DNS minus N20. Do this for the two best performing DNS you got. To apply it, go to your network connections then IPv4 and type the DNS in. This will get you the best DNS server possible for you which in theory could lower your ping and latency. Step 3. Apply and close it. Go back. Uncheck everything except QoS and IPv4 and apply. You just uncheck useless things your network driver has pre-built in your package. Step 4. Go back. Configure. Power. Uncheck all, advance, and disable the following properties in the video. Other properties not shown in the video, you just have to search it up for yourself. Step 5. Run TCP Optimizer as admin and copy the following settings. This is the best TCP settings. Step 6. Run NVIDIA Profile as admin. Search Fortnite and put LOD BIOS to shader cache to 10GB. Transparency Super Sampling to Mode Replay Mode All This will lower your graphics to minimum and will lower your CPU and GPU usage which will lower your ping only if your PC is the bottleneck Step 7 Go to Epic Games Settings Throttle Downloads to 0 Fortnite Additional Command Line Type in Dash Limit Client Tick Doing this might fix your ping and packet loss Step 8 Enter GP Edit Windows Settings Policy Based QoS Follow the following settings. Go to Advanced QoS Settings DSCP Marking, Control, and Ignore. QoS is for managing your packets and such. This will just give your PC better priority. Step 9. Open NVIDIA Control Panel and copy my settings and apply. Optimizing this will give you better performance overall. Step 10. Open admin command prompt and type ping-l 1500 and your optimized DNS. If request timed out, lower 1500 by 200, which is 1800, and repeat until you get a reply. If you get a reply, gradually increase the 1800 value if and only if you get a reply. Make sure both your DNS are getting a reply from the value that you got. For example, the value is 1472. Make sure your DNS which is the 8.8.4.4 is getting a reply. After you get your value, type the code link in the description to your command prompt and replace the name of your Wi-Fi into your Wi-Fi and the MTU value to your own value that you got from the replies. This is my internet speed and bloatware after the steps.